Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another what's in my bag video for you and this time it's the Coach Gallery Tote. I've had this bag for a handful of months now. I bought this on a sale, I want to say during the Memorial Day sale. So I did buy this on the Coach Outlet website. And if you're not aware, if you want to buy something on the Coach Outlet site, if a holiday is coming up, it's a good idea to wait until then. And usually the prices drop on some of their items. So if you don't mind waiting a bit, you might get a good deal on the bag that you're looking at. So that's what happened with me with this bag. I got it for a really good deal. And it's been on my wish list for a really long time. So I decided to jump on it when I saw the price drop. And I did get the black leather version. So this comes in different colors. And it also comes with the canvas version. But I've always loved leather bags. I'm all about black leather bags. So this one is really tough Safiano leather. So if you take a look, you can scratch it up no problem. And it's waterproof. So I recently took a damp cloth to my bag to wipe off some white spots. Since I wear sunblock a lot, sometimes it tends to rub off on my bag. So I just took a damp cloth and wiped it up and my bag looks good as new. So here's what it looks like. The material does tend to buckle in when you stuff it, but that doesn't bother me. If you don't want the gallery tote to have this little buckling here on the side, I suggest not stuffing your bag so much. But since I do have to carry a lot with me, I'm going to have to live with this, which again, I don't mind, but it's something worth keeping in mind. All right, so let's get to the what's in my bag. So first off, I have this chain on the outside. I bought this chain on Amazon and it's a really cute accessory. I got this idea from Autumn Beckman where you hook the chain on one of the handles here and then you hook the other end on the front zipper on the gallery tote and it looks really nice that way and it looks so cute. I also like to tie a little twilly here on the side if I want. So I'm just gonna tie this up real quick to give you an idea. All right, so my ribbon is a little sloppy, but there you go. Sometimes I like to put a twilly and it looks really cute that way too. But lately I've been taking this off because it does tend to untie itself when I'm carrying the bag and I didn't want to have to worry about it at the time. So keeping my bag a little more functional than usual. So let's open up the zipper here on the front. On the inside, I have my mask and some spin pins. So this is for my hair. Then what else do I have in here? I have the, oh, <laughs> the tag for the bag that it came with and the price tag. I decided to just keep it in the bag. It also helps me to remember what the names of the bag is if I keep the tag with it. So that's all I have for the front zipper. And then the gallery tote does have this really nice zipper top closure. I have some totes that has the open flap on top or maybe just like a magnetic closure, but I really do like the zipper closures because it gives me a bit more security when I'm somewhere and I just feel safer with a zipper closure. So here's what it looks like on the inside right now. So in one of my videos, I mentioned that I like having a tote organizer in my bag, but this time I didn't do that because in one of my errands, I had to keep a legal sized paper in the bag and it wouldn't fit if I put in my organizer in the bag. So I decided to take it out and just try to use my bag without my organizer and it's actually going pretty well. So that also explains why I have this buckling in here. I think if I use the organizer with this bag, this wouldn't happen as badly. But having an organizer does take away some space in the bag. You won't be able to fit as much if you put an organizer in here. So those are the trade-offs that you get when you use a purse organizer. But anyway, let's see what's inside. So first off here in the zipper pocket, I have my little Galen letter wallet. So this is where I keep all of my IDs and credit cards and my cash and everything. And then I have my Filofax Lockwood that I always like to keep with me. This is the pocket slim size. So the rings are really tiny here as you can see. But this is where I keep notes, emergency information, insurance info, all that stuff. I also keep family pictures in here. And this is just a really good on the go notebook for holding really important information that you might need. And also just for jotting down notes. So in the back, I do have some blank notes and then a random grocery list. So it's pretty messy on the inside. And then I have Altoid mints. I love these. And then a little plastic bag in case I need to throw out the diaper or barf bag, things like that. And then another coach authentication card. Yep. So that's it for this zipper pocket. And then on the other side, you get these two pockets here. So here I have, oh gosh, that's so gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have the coach five key holder, have hand sanitizer, and then I have a pen. So this is the zebra 
Z Grip Medium Pen. I just randomly found this in my stash, so I'm just using it up. And then, oh, another mask. <laughs> and then my purse hook, so you can use this for holding up your purse on the table so it doesn't touch the floor. So that's what that is. And then we get to the main compartment here. So first I have this little catch-all pouch. This pouch is from Walmart. This is the Pioneer Woman pouch. It's super cute and when I saw it, I just had to have it because I love florals. And this pouch holds a lot. This reminds me a lot of the Coach Large wristlet. I think that's what it's called. This one also has a little wristlet in it, but I never use it. I just use this for holding stuff. And inside I have my <laughs> argument pouch. I have a pouch within the pouch, but since I don't have a purse organizer in my bag, I like having these large pouches to hold my little things so they don't sink down into the bottom. And then my argument pouch. I don't think this has changed since the last time I showed you. I have the cord for my charger, some alcohol wipes. This is, I think, Dramamine and some band-aids. And then what else do I have here? I have my power bank and that's it for this one. I have my A5 folder for holding on to paperwork that I need to keep with me. So I do have some in here. I have a water bottle, of course, gotta stay hydrated. Then I have my baby wipes pouch. This is the refillable one. So you fill it in here on the top and then you seal it up and grab it here. And then here I have the Coach Nolita 24. So right now this isn't available on the Coach website. So I actually bought this pre-loved a long time ago and this is really good as a catch-all pouch as well. The only thing is it comes with this metal chain. This metal chain so you can unhook this and hook it to this loop on the other side and that can be a little shoulder bag for you or you can turn it into a wristlet just like that or you can just stuff this on the inside of the pouch here and just have it out of the way so this is a really nice multifunctional pouch i use this as a catch-all pouch for my bags as well i just wish that this metal chain was removable because it does add extra weight and bulk to the pouch and inside i have my extra pair of glasses and some pull-ups for my son. We are potty training, but it's good to have these just in case. And then a napkin for me. And then I have my makeup pouch. So once again, this is my trusty green makeup pouch from Bath & Body Works. Never been able to replace this. I keep trying, but yeah. And inside, I did change it up a little bit because I found a box of really old makeup when I was decluttering our boxes and I already threw out the ones that smelled weird or broke me out. So I'm back to using the ones that are still good and I'm just trying to finish them before they expire on me. So this is one of my old makeup. This is the Ferro Cosmetics blush in Desert Rose. I have no idea where this brand is from or if it's still even available, but this is what I have. I think I got this from a subscription box a long time ago, but I can't remember it anymore. My CoverGirl face powder, my favorite. It's almost done. I wish panning my stationery was this easy. And then I have the L'Oreal Color Riche lip gloss. So this is the clear one and it's still good. I tried it out recently and it's fine. It doesn't taste weird, so this is still good. And then I have my brush for my blush here. This one is from Echo Tools. This is really great for on the go. And then I have my sunblock stick here because I always forget to put sunblock on my hands. By the time I remember, we're already on the car and I'm driving. So whenever I get the chance, I just grab the stick and quickly swipe my hands with it. So this is really handy to have. And then hand lotion. I'm not sure what's inside this, but what I do is I just refill this bottle with whatever lotion I have. It's not necessarily a vino that's inside this. I just use the bottle for my on-the-go lotion. And then my lip balm. I have chapped lips always, so it's good for me to have this. And then I have my Revlon lipstick in red lacquer. So this is just red lipstick. And my perfume roller. So this is the Kumba Made Amber and Sandalwood. I got this on Amazon and it smells amazing. And I really love having this because sometimes I also forget to put on perfume. I have two bottles of perfume in my bathroom and I don't know, I just tend to forget it. It's good to have this as well in my on-the-go makeup bag. And that's it, it looks like. So here's the inside. It's black lining and it's pretty much a black hole if you don't use an organizer or pouches like these. So I recommend either using a purse organizer for the gallery tote or having a really big pouch to hold on to your little things so that they don't sink into the bottom. 
And yeah, that is it for my what's in my bag. This is a pretty quick video, I think. I've been really enjoying using this gallery tote because it's so sturdy. The leather is really stiff. But yeah, that's it for my what's in my bag video. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my bed here and put all this back in my bag but i hope you all enjoyed this what's in my bag i love watching these videos because i do get ideas from looking into other people's bags and yeah let me know what bag you're currently using i'm pretty happy with my bag collection right now so i don't know if i'm going to be getting any more at this moment in time but who knows maybe i'll see something and fall in love with it and get it immediately so <laughs> until then thank you so much for watching this is baba notes and i'll see you next time bye